Hi friends, welcome to this week's video. Things have been heating up here in Toronto and I often find myself wanting something nice to drink. So this week I'm gonna share with you two recipes for two very delicious summer beverages. The first recipe is actually for a masala or a, a powdered mix that you can make in advance and add to any soda of your choosing. I'm just gonna call it masala soda or soda masala. The second drink that I'm sharing is shikanji or shikanjvi. It's a really refreshing spiced lemonade. Both drinks have a very Indian flavor profile but I think they could be enjoyed by anyone. I'm gonna start off with the soda masala or masala soda. In the video I'm making enough for one serving but I will leave measurements for a larger batch down below in the description box. If you are making this for one person you're gonna to want to follow what I'm doing in the video. So I'm roasting only two peppercorns and about a quarter teaspoon of whole cumin seeds. I'm doing this while Mahi is finishing up his breakfast, but I'm keeping my nose attuned to the smell of the cumin because when it takes on a roasted and nutty smell, that's how you know when it's done roasting. The next step is to grind these spices to a powder. It doesn't have to be a fine powder. It can be a little bit coarse. That's acceptable. I have a little grinder that I mainly use for black pepper, but I am going to put both of the peppercorns and the cumin seeds into this little grinder and grind these spices into a powder. These are the only two spices that required roasting. We are gonna add two more elements to this soda masala, the first being some chaat masala. It's coming from a package. And the second ingredient is black salt. This is my Billy brand or Billy brand black salt, which you've probably seen before if you have been following my channel. It has a very tiny opening that I cut in the bag. I'm not interested in making the opening any bigger, so I'm just, you know, taking out a little bit at a time. And then I'm combining all of these ingredients, just trying to get any clumps out of the kala namak or the black salt. And then once I've sufficiently removed the lumps and clumps, the soda masala, sorry, the masala soda is ready to be used. So I'm gonna be making my drink with ginger beer. It's like 10 times stronger than ginger ale. It has its own gingery kick to it. I'm adding that to a glass, but I'm reserving some of the soda in case I need to balance my drink a little bit. And then I'm adding the mix to the soda. Bit of a reaction there in the glass, but not enough to spill, luckily. After adding a few ice cubes to the glass, my drink is ready. It's ready to be served or ready to be enjoyed. And usually when I make anything, the taste test naturally goes to Pranav first. Delicious. That's a nice kick also. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm using ginger beer, this beverage does have a kick to it, but you could add this masala to any soda of your choosing. It could be plain soda, cola, Sprite, um, Limka, honestly, anything, and it would be delicious. So I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm the next drink I'm sharing with you is the shikanjvi or shikanji. I think this one is a little bit more involved simply because the ingredients require you to do a bit more work. Black salt, roasted ground cumin, and black pepper also feature in this recipe. However, the black pepper is not roasted. You'll need to grate some ginger and make a small amount of sugar syrup, which you can do by dissolving sugar in hot water. Then you have to juice half a lemon, you need about a quarter cup, and you're gonna need some cold or chilled water. On the plus side, this recipe will make three to four servings of shikanji. This is not complicated. You simply combine all of the ingredients in a jug or a large mason jar like I'm doing. There's no particular order for you to follow. Just add everything and mix it up. We are not going to strain our shikanjvi 
and I know that that might seem a little controversial. There are bits floating in the drink. And to that I would say, um, just go with it. This is a drink that you can enjoy if you stir as you go or agitate the beverage as you go. I would not recommend straining it. The ginger is very finely grated. The spices are not that coarsely ground. I think you should just go with it. At this point, the shikanji or shikanjvi is done, but I do have some very beautiful mint growing on my garden, so I'm gonna pick a sprig of mint just for garnish, and I am gonna level up this beverage a little bit by also adding some lemon slices. And then I'm gonna take my shikanjvi and stick it in the fridge for about an hour, let it chill even further, really let those flavors come together. The drink will taste much more intense and delicious in my opinion, if you refrigerate it for about an hour before enjoying it. But of course you can enjoy it right away as well. I really hope that you enjoyed these two very refreshing summer beverages. You know, I wanted to say something about the soda masala and the masala soda. I was going back and forth. It was kind of tripping me up because when you make the masala, it's called soda masala. But when you add it to the drink, the drink is referred to as masala soda. Just really confusing, but one of those lovely little linguistic quirks. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any content from me. And I'll see you very, very soon. I hope you're well, wherever you are. Bye for now. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.